licks in the style of Stevie Ray Vaughan and um, get your blues playing juiced up in this aggressive grab you by the throat kind of Stevie Ray style. We're in the key of E minor and we're, we're tuned down to E flat. So we're going to use that E blues scale, E minor pentatonic and blues scale. That up here at the 12th fret, it's off that low E string root at the 12th fret. Shape looks like this. in the style is something like this and this was used a lot as a tag ending um, or a way to connect to another lick he'd do something like this okay so what it basically what that entails is you're bending a note up then you're letting it down and as you let it down quickly you hit it you strike it again with that heavy vibrato and then I bar at the 12th fret. You want to bar because you're going to do this quick, kind of down, up, down, alternate picked, high E string, 12th fret, B string, 12th fret, high E string, 12th fret. Then 15th fret, 12th fret, vibrato. Then you can do that, that little bend that we like. So you get a lick like this. See, we incorporate lots of slides in his playing, but I like something like this. Okay, I'm sliding up to that 14th fret right in that basic box shape. Again, like we talked about in that last lesson, those double stops. Again, now we're at the 12th fret B and G string. Slide it. Now I get another double stop here at the 14th fret, B and G string. Right, you could mess around with the amount of time. That's a cool lick too. You could do it to the double stop. Or just do it to the single note. Work up the speed kind of thing. Here's kind of a cool lick that is played differently because we're going kind of ascending up. If I slow it down. Now I'm doing a lot of hammer-ons. So I'm barring high E and B is the proper way to kind of take this lick off. Right? High E string, 12th fret, high E string, B. And then I hammer 12 to 15 on the B. And then G string, 14. Go back to 12th fret, B. And then I hammer 12 to 14 on that G. And then 14th fret, D. So the thing, it's a little bit strange if you're not used to a lick like this. Do it slow. Right? You can do all kinds of variations. Here's a cool lick in the style, which sounds great as a repeated lick. And notice at the end of it, I threw in that lick we did before. So this lick, I'm bending that 15th fret up to that 17th fret or that G note up to the A. And then I'm barring with that first finger, you know, so important for these kind of faster licks for efficiency that you bar with that first finger to get those notes quickly. So it's like high E B. And then I bend at the 15th fret of the B string. And then you repeat. There's a high E string 15th fret bend. Bar, then 15th fret B string. And after the 15th fret B string bend, 12th fret bar finger, right? High E string, B string. And then I ended it. Remember that lick we did before? And that's with that bend. Big rake 
you let it down, but when you let it down, you vibrato it. And remember, your playing is an evolution. It takes time and patience. You know, keep chipping away at it a little each day, and you will get there. Remember, have fun, keep rocking, and we will see you in the next lesson. Rock on. Mm -hmm.